people, 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 people. Care passer, sir, pass, say what they do. Now, people, first thing that is popping in the news, it is called WTF. Say that it is not so, and people, I am speaking about an incident that occurred in St. Anne's, where it is said that the poor poor they have charged a man for illegal possession of a firepiece and also ammunition. Based on information, it is said that this man was attending a church and people at about 3.20 p.m. In the evening, the poor poor did a search at the church, and they found a the man with a bag, and in that bag was a homemade pie pie, and also rounds of 12 gauge. So people, I would assume that it is not a very small piece of tool. It was a bigger tool that could fit in some sort of bag. Now people, as a youth growing up in a Jamaica, I was told that the church is maybe the safest place. Surely enough, no gunman no longer run in there and take out anybody. Surely enough, more than likely, the possibility or probabilities are a gunman won't be found in church. However, people, it seems as if 26-year-old Alex Brown of St. Anne, he had different thoughts. He wanted to change the perception that people have of the church. Now, people, the truth and the fact is that based on what we see transpiring in Jamaica lately, we see say a family member was the mastermind in the taking away of a 50-something-year-old lady, a banker, in a some sort of church in a very bad way. He was caught, he was arrested, he was charged. Don't know about the conviction. I think that that case is still pending. Now, people, in this case, a next man, 26 year old. Question we have to ask why would the poor poor go to the church to search? Were they getting some sort of information that, listen, a little man pull up near the church with a bag and him look like some sort of hitman, him eye a quint. Him a shake, him look fidgety, so therefore come and give him a check. See what is up, him look kind of suspicious, him look boomy. So people, it seems that the poor poor got information, somebody call, spot a lion, spot him out and call him and say, listen, one man there in an XYZ red shirt, blue pants, purple shoes, whatever the case is, come and check him out. And when they searched the bag, they found this homemade tool with some sort of 12 gauge ammunition. Now, people, it only shows you that Jamaica is getting from bad to worse. And people, I am not saying that this does not happen in any other country in the world. However, you know that we are speaking about Jamaica. And we see that Jamaica is getting from bad to worse. Sarah. And people, this is yet a next perfect example. Point blank and period. So, people, when we see stuff like this, the question that we have to ask is this. Was this man on some sort of mission from the man up above, the big man? No, people, I am not speaking about God. I am speaking about the Don. Did the Don, did the crackhead Don put out some sort of hit on somebody in the church and send this man with some sort of tool? However, he was too fidgety. He was too boomy. He could not carry out the whole process. So therefore, he failed. It was an exercise in futility. Or was this man of some sort of unsound mind? Was this man's intention was to go to church, confess of his sins, and turn over a new page, turning the gun to the pastor? However, the pastor was too busy counting the cash. People, me no know. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news is an update about an incident in which a 27-year-old lady lost her life. Her name is Michaela Hudson. She is from Old Harbor. Based on information, it is said that at about 1 something a.m. in the morning, an AD wagon, white to be specific, was driving the driver and the passenger. The driver lost control, fly over the water, flat bridge, and then at the end of the day, it is said that the driver, he was rescued. However, the lady, she was not so fortunate. Now, people, based on the information, it is said that the driver of said white AD wagon, he was warned for prosecution. And people, exactly what this means is that whenever anybody dies under some sort of questionable, controversial circumstances, 
there is going to be some sort of investigation and until the investigation is over this person's name is not cleared so therefore it is basically pending investigation to see exactly what is the final outcome now people when we think about the situation as it pertains to flatbridge bagua gorge river road all of them the same thing same place we have to ask the question person are always saying making all sorts of suggestion that why is it that there is no sorts of bridge or no sorts of rail on this bridge and this bridge was built from back in the days i think the arawaks are one of them sort of people build it so therefore are you telling me that the technology a couple of centuries ago is better than the technology that we have people i have seen bridges built in the water seven mile bridge in florida to be specific amongst other bridges all over the place however this flat bridge is maybe about uh, 10 meter 15 meter long maybe about seven seven feet no more than that maybe about 12 feet wide people me no know i am just assuming i am just giving my judgment and we see that there's been a whole lot of crash a whole lot of people take for themselves deliberately accidents carelessness recklessness whatever the case is however people it seems as if there's no sorts of solution it seems as if there's no meeting held and say listen what are we going to do is this problem the bridge or is the problem the mindset the mentality the hastiness the people that are always rushing the people that cannot wait and don't obey the traffic signs the light rate lele blue blah bling or is it some sort of technology or lack of technology problem people me don't know what you think so anyways people most of the times when i see these incidents on flatbridge one thing that is very obvious the lack of emergency vehicle the lack of participation of the popo fire brigade people it seems as if well it does not seem as if it seems as if whenever these incidents happen it is always the resident around that era that is jumping into the water that is saving lives that is trying to take people out of the water it seems as if the popo and the fire brigade they are just there as spectators they are just there kimbo like kimbo king they are not usually participating some of the time you know what i mean and the truth and the fact is that if you are a country and you have so much incidents happening at a particular era you would have thought that eh, maybe it would be a good idea if we start to train some people in rescuing these vehicles in rescuing people whenever them jump over fly over deliberately or not however people like them say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and people like i've said this is not a problem that just start to exist this has been a problem that has been happening in Jamaica for decades, three, four, five, six decades now. And people, they have made no sorts of adjustment. And people like them say, he who fails to prepare, prepares to fail. And he who fails to adjust, they are going to be terminated or it is not going to end up good. So people, the moral of the story is this. It only shows you that the government of Jamaica, they are reactive. They are not proactive. It tells you that they are very incompetent, they are very irresponsible, they are not very wise when it comes to making decisions, when it comes to preventative measures and people. Yet again, this is the next perfect example, point blank and period. Now people, the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that it seems as if the angel she is on a campaign, on a campaign of exposing herself and people there's been a video that is out and it seems as if she is promoting some sort of song and people again in this video she is stripped down like an onion now people there has been countless pictures of the angel circulating all over social media and i have them if you want those pictures people you can whatsapp me 1-876-894-2711 you can get those pictures now people first thing first we saw that the angel made a post and in that post, she was showing off a $14 million BMW in which she bought cash. No sorts of payments, 
No sorts of terms and conditions. She owns it outright. And people, we saw that the angel also announced her fans only page, wherein you can make a monthly subscription, you pay monthly, and you can have access to see her do all sorts of F R E A K Y stuff. Now, people, in the pictures that I have, the angel is showing all, she is flaunting all. She has all sorts of toys. She are wind up, rate, lele, blue, blah, bling, and people, truth be told, it is very appealing. She looks kind of mm, sexy. So, therefore, I am not going to say anything is wrong with what she is doing. However, people, at the end of the day, you have to have morals, you have to have ethics over cash. However, people, at the end of the day, we see that the angel being an artist, there is no sorts of parties being held. Most artists are home, they are turn them yard because they show them because of the big C situation. So therefore, I guess she has bills and those bills need to be paid. And those bills cannot be paid by persons who don't care about the angel and her family. Meaning you and I, if she call and ask you, send some money for pay for the bima, send some money for pay for the mortgage, the house, the rent, rate, lele, blue, blah, blah. You are going to post on social media and say, the angel broke like dog. So people, at the end of the day, we have to ask ourselves the question, what is more important to you, your dignity and your pride? Paying your bills or should she do what the average person in her life do? Get a J-O-B and sustain herself and her family or picnic. Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Blend. However, people like them say, seven different sisters, seven different brother, seven different mind. So therefore, if the angel feel as if this is the best way to pay her bill by showing her body and basically working for a couple of hours or a couple of minutes per day and making buku cash, people, do you blame her? Would you do the same thing? Or do you think that she should set a better example for the picnic for persons, especially women out there? People, let me know what you think in the comment section. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.